Hello, this is Josh Rodman playing J. Rodman playing Barge Tale 3, and we've just reached the second level of the ice dungeon. Um, we don't really know how far the ice dungeon goes down, but this second level is significantly smaller than the first. So it may go by quickly, but then again, maybe it's full of tricks. Um, Okay, let me first think about, there's a spinner and an odd to the east. Am I going to write them down? Maybe not. I can just go east and get a better idea. But, to the north, there's a trap and a something. So they're off the bottom, basically. And to the west, there is a spinner and an odd. Spinner. Where did I put that? Odd. Um, but we'll come back to those. For now, south we have a trap and a something, but more concretely, and see this sequence of walls and doors. I'm gonna just head east and see what happens with these messages. Spinner and odd. So I step forward and the odd message goes away. Wait, how did I get rid of? Oh, I I was I I stomped on the stairs uh, by putting another symbol down on top of it. Mm, bears and an Arctic mage and a glazed wreath. Okay. I am going to try to pull in the Arctic mage and succeed. And accidentally kill a wind dragon. Brother's figurine, that is something to drop right away. Because of the seven member party, figurines are not useful. Okay, so I can still see a spinner and an odd here. Um, so we don't really know where they are exactly. I don't know how to notate this. Whatever. Uh, to the south, a trap and a something. Stepping forward, we get an interruption, and only a trap is listed. Of course, that fight may have been messing up our messaging. Run away. No, a trap and a something. Um, still in front. To the east, a spinner, an odd, and a something. Oh my goodness, this is so noisy. Maybe it's six across. To 
to the west, we can again see... Well, we got some information there, didn't we? From here we have an odd and a spinner. And here we have an odd and a spinner and a something. So... Something is in a definite location, if I knew how far around the map was. I mean, it's de it is it has a definite location, I just don't know where that definite lo location is. Where's message? Oh, here you are. Dead creatures litter the floor here, and your skin crawls with the overwhelming sense of latent magic. I guess magic isn't always a good thing. What is going on in this square? We are getting drained of both types of points. From here, there's a something quiet over here somewhere. And this is, oof, this location is definitely draining us of both types. We can assume this trap exists because it was here or here, and we can still see it in front of us to the south. Um, there's a wall here, a wall here. Whoop, wrong way. Wall here, door, two walls. This square is also draining both kinds of points. And uh, hip point drain shows up as something on the vision. So that explains all the some things we're detecting. I think I just determined that there's a silence here. Okay, so it's five from north to south. So maybe it's five across, too. Uh, which means also there is a trap here along with the presumably spell and hit point drain. And I forgot to trap zap it and got hit by it but not damaged. Enough luck I guess. Not lots of luck, but enough. Um, facing west, we can see a quiet. Facing east, we can see a quiet. Probably in here. Maybe we're not going to worry about it too much.
Okay. And this is the reason I'm not going to worry about it too much, because it's easy to detect. Um, time to use some harmonic gems. I can't cast spells here? Okay, so... Oops, wrong, not there, here. So of course, the question is, which way am I facing? I think that was south, I think this is east. I think this is north. It was north, so we have walls here and here. Cast seven Mako. Okay, so this is not yeah, that's that's uh anti magic here, but not here. But there is darkness here. and silence. And walls to the east and west, and how about north? No wall to the north. More darkness. More silence. Wall to the west. Door to the north, and I think I'm out of the darkness, but um, wait, what? Did I go two? Did I go an extra distance without realizing it? I guess I did. Uh, sorcerer's site. I feel like my sorcerer's site's been nerfed somehow. Some kind of riddle. I feel like my sorcerer's site is being nerfed, but when I cast again, I don't get any messages. So maybe this is all odd spots. That's one possibility. Okay, I went back into the darkness to test this wall. So I've stepped in all these squares, although I don't really know what's in them. Maybe I don't care. Because I'm pretty sure what they've done is set it up so that these are there's a lot of odd and my sorcerer site doesn't work and I can't detect things. So let's see what this question is. A sign reads here lies Lanatir, last guardian of all magics. Only in the name of his blood may you enter. Oh, this was not meant to be a label. I meant to make this a note. Can I not? Can I really not select the text? 
Is that, is that a thing? Is that, can I really not do that? Okay, fine. The sign reads. <laughs> Here lies Lanatir, last guardian of all magics. Only in the name of his heir or his blood may you enter. So name of his blood I'm assuming means a relative. And I'm convinced that this is broken. Because I don't think we received any information about Lanatir's family stuff. I, I'm very certain that the game has given us no information. The closest to information was in the White Tower uh, here. In level three, we found shattered ice on the wall revealed a small carving that reads Kala and Hawkslayer, New Age, Eno and Eternity, and over here a crib, Hala, Hawkslayer and Kala, beneath this emblem is the name Utor. Okay, so Hawkslayer has a wife, Kala, and a kid, Utor. If this was Hawkslayer's tomb when we needed his blood, both of those names would be appropriate. But this says Lanatir's blood is what we need. We ain't got Jack telling us about what Lanatir's blood is. I think this is either an editing error in the game, or they just spaced out thinking that it made sense. They forgot to put in another connecting part. I don't know. Last time I played this through, I thought maybe I missed something. Definitely I'm sure this time I didn't. I'm gonna try Utor. And it happens to be right, because the fact is, I only had four names. Alandar, Hawkslayer, Kala, Utor. The only way this makes men sense is if Hawkslayer is Lanatir's son. But when I say, I bet when I say Hawkslayer, I get damaged. So the other option is it's Kala is Lanatir's daughter. Which, because Kala should be a right answer too, but I'm pretty sure you get damaged for that too. So this puzzle makes no sense at all. It's just stupid. Anyway, I'm gonna go through the doorway. And there's gonna be an explosion. Where's that symbol? Here you are. Uh, I need to heal, I guess. Well, I can take another explosion first. An explosion. And now we come into a last little four, two by two room, a four square room. And over here we get another message. Whoop. Radiating with an inner glow all its own, Lanatir's wand of power gives an incredible order of power. Type that in, to and then we get to pick it up. Uh, I'm gonna have Griselda pick it up, and then warm to the touch, the sphere of Lanatir seems to be seems to want to be used in the name of good. Uh, I'm gonna decide that Lillian Dusprey is the name of good. She's going to pick it up. And that's the solution to that realm. So I'm going to teleport on out. We can teleport from the lower level. And now we're in the ice keep. So we should be able to go... nine south and 
poor West. And now we're at the entrance stairs. Uh, we need the character disc. So, uh, I should have probably done this earlier, but now that we're out of the keep and out of the danger, I'm going to meet you at the old man. Okay, we're back at the old man, and um, it's time to complete our quest. The quest of Glidia to bring back the hero, godly mage Lanatir, who, well, he's already dead. The old man appears visibly shaken by the news of Lanatir's death. After a long silence, he stares off into space and mumbles, Is it to be that way, then? His eyes focus on you again, and there's a grim look, and a grim look washes over his features. Now you are bound for Lucinia. I dare not hope Illyria lives, so I want you to recover the crown of truth and the belt of Illyria. Beware, for she had a jealous consort, and he will protect her as best he can. The old man awards each experience points. So, I think the theme is pretty clear. We're off to find dead heroes and take their signature items. Bringing them back to the old man for experience points. Is that the way you save the world? A scavenger hunt? off corpses. Anyway, here's uh, the result of that experience point boost. Grisnok gains a level to 41, increasing her luck, and another to uh, 42, I guess? Getting a point of constitution. Lady Oakshield gets one, to, goes up to 41 for a point of strength. Doesn't quite reach 42 yet. Shrantrell gets 40 for ex 41 for dexterity and 42 for dexterity. Lots of dexterity. Maybe she'll play earlier. Uh, Elena gets 41 strength, level 42 constitution. Uh, up above 300 hit points for, for the first time. I appreciate that. Elendor will be leveling up, gaining a point of dexterity. Elendor level up twice, that I didn't expect that. Um, point of strength, not the best stat for a mage. Lillian has 800,000 to go before she um, levels up past Archmage 13. And Griselda gets a point of intelligence, which is a nice stat to get. Looking at them more carefully, starting from the bottom, Griselda has hit level 12 as an Archmage. Oh, I have these spells sitting here. I was trying to look up how many spell points it was going to take me to get back because I didn't have enough. Um, anyway, so my Archmage, I don't think I've been using the next to top level Archmage spells. Probably they're garbage. Yeah, Mother's Kingle, I would never use that. So she's close to being able to cast Mangar's Mallet, but not all the way there. In fact, 800,000 to go. Uh, Lillian didn't level up. Elendor hit level 12. So... She hit level 11 and 12. So level 11 opens up the level 6 spells. So now I can cast Grave Robber, which is a resurrect and full health spell on one target, and Force of Tarjan, which is a damage and push spell. I could have used Force of Tarjan against some of those wizard fights. I mean, I, I probably would have if I'd had it. Um, my other party members who went up, I'll show briefly. These are their current stats. Our warrior, Chris Nock. Our paladin, Lady Oakshield, our Bard Chantrell, 
and uh, a rogue Elena. And I'm going to end the session here. Oh, before I end the session, let's go back and talk to the old man with Elena. Or with Elendor, rather. And we get told uh, Lucinia is entered by uttering Luce, and the spell to return is Ileg. So this is where this pattern starts to become fairly obvious. Uh, when we went to Galidia, we cast Geli, and when we were coming back, we typed Ekul. So the way to come back from some of these realms is the opposite word as the way to go to another realm. Maybe they're supposed to be the opposite direction in time. I I never really figured this out. It was like, oh, that's cute. Is it supposed to mean something? And then it never clicked. So I don't know. Um, anyway, to the east is a crystal spring. Your passage to Lucinia is there. So uh, when we return for the next episode... Oh my goodness, there's so many regions to scroll through. I'm doing it off the screen. Um, we will be off to the Crystal Springs to go to the land of Lucinia, which I don't know much about besides that there's this... Um, maybe she's... There's this sort of beautiful woman hero, Illyria, um, who's probably already dead, that we have to get some item from that I didn't write down, but I can look it up. <laughs> I'll see you next time when we go to Lucinia. Bye-bye.